Hi, this is iAndroin, and today I'm going to review for you Windows 8 Consumer Preview. It is in beta right now, and as you can see, this is our little lock screen, so it is really geared towards tablets and phones, which I like to see since I, <laughs> I, I, I'm, not, I I'm not a big computer guy. I, I like mobile. I like tablets, pads, phones, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, let's get to it. But before I do that, I will tell you right now that I'm going to use my iPhone 4S, so it's going to be a bit shaky. Sorry about that. And if you like our channel, please subscribe, like, comment. We like comments. We will reply to you guys. It, it lets us know that we have followers and we will get a camcorder if we get followers. <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump into it. As you can see from on the top on the top left over here, Google Chrome, Spotify, and iTunes does not have the same little animation icon thingy <laughs> as a uh, store, maps, video, mail, etc. It's it's because it, they are compatible, but they are not applications, I, I guess, from the store. So maybe soon enough, Google Chrome and Spotify will be in the Microsoft Store, but. Probably not iTunes since it's owned by Apple, and yeah, I wouldn't hold your, hold your breath out on that one. Windows Explorer also doesn't have a little tile. Let's open that up. Oh, yeah, by the way, you will get an error message, 0000. zero, zero, zero. I do not know what that is. I was Googling, didn't find anything. I guess it's a little uh, beta hiccup. We'll, we'll see what's up later on. Uh, on the doc, on the little file system you can uh it and that looks like word you can have you can open up the little file menu over here search your documents open documents all, all that good stuff you can share view go home not go home but open up your your home your desktop thing actually i don't know what that does let's open it up oh that's cool um so you can make uh folders right off here but to be honest, I, I'm probably just going to right-click and create a new folder. Like that. Actually, no. No, you can't do that anymore. That's weird. Okay. I'm getting caught up on this. <laughs> uh, going back, uh, there is no more little orb on the left corner over here. you get, you got to press the little micro or at Windows key on your keyboard from now on to go to the Start menu. And, yeah, the Start menu is this. Uh, we have messaging now on Windows computer PCs. Uh, it's probably going to try to rival, uh, what's it called, uh, iMessage, iChat, something like that, Apple has. Uh, they have it in beta. Uh, if you have a Mac, I'll put a description down below so you can download it. There's also going to be a, uh, the link to this so you can download it. It says Facebook is not... I'm not going to connect to Facebook. Uh, so far, it seems like you can only put... um, What's it called? Windows Live Messaging. I do not use Windows Live Messaging. I use Google Talk. So, I hope they catch on. Because I'm not going to switch to Windows Messaging. I like, Win I like Google Talk. Uh, yeah. I like that they have... Photos and videos as a little application now. I I like that. I like that they're try they're going to uh, tablet and phone space in the computers now with the UI. I I like it more. I I know some people are on the fence about it or get really upset. Uh, Apple's also doing that with Mountain Lion, which I'm I'm kind of I I want to see the battle of you know PC and Apple or Macs whatever. Uh, there you can also get a little. You can also download apps through the uh, Microsoft Store. Right here, cut the rope, all that awesome stuff. <laughs> Top three, you get some of the eight apps. Huh. Last time I opened this, it was fourteen, so it's gone up. I'm gonna explore that later on. Probably review some of these apps and our new channel, I Android Apps. Please subscribe if you want. App reviews, please, 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 please. <laughs> there are no top paid apps, unfortunately, which is weird. 
I hope they get some good photo editing or I mean video editing apps because I need that. You also get a little weather app right over here. I hope it opens. Yep, there you go. It's loading up. I was kind of worried because it's not app preview and I was like, no. Yeah, sure. Use my location. I don't care. Come on. It is pretty slow. I mean, it's in beta, so it's understandable, but <laughs> if you if you like the reliability of Windows 7, don't don't try the preview. Yet, yeah, it's going to drive you insane. Like I for one cannot shut down my laptop. I don't know why. I close the lid and I, you know, it's supposed to shut it down since that's what I had specified it to do. It does it. It just completely drained my battery today. I have it in a charger right now in the morning. It sucks. Please update that. Microsoft, please do that. Like now. As you can see, it's cloudy. If I didn't have Windows, I would not know that. Going back, you can have... You, you can have... You have Xbox Companion and Xbox Live. If I had an Xbox, I would like that, but I have a PS3. So I'm not going to go into full detail on that. Calendar, I do not use calendar on any device. SkyDrive, I do not use SkyDrive. Uh, music, I'm not going to use music. I'm going to use iTunes. That's it on here. There, There's more apps. You have to right click and then this little menu or icon thing pops up. You click on all apps and these are all the apps installed. I think I had five apps maybe that I went out of my way to install Spotify, Chrome, AVD Manager for developing Android apps, iTunes, Safari, and I think that's it. Oh, and Google Talk. Th those are all compatible, and the these all the little tiles that you see right here are all the things you get from with a Windows 8. When I was Installing it, it was actually telling me to delete, or not delete, uh, uninstall, I should say, um, Windows Security Essentials, something like that. It was, it's kind of like Defender, but it was something else, and it, I did not go out of my way to download that. It was pre-installed on Windows 7, and I had to uninstall that, which was kind of weird. It might prompt you to do that. If you do that, please re remind yourself or read. Make a note that you won't have a vir an antivirus program unless you have like Norton or something, and uh, don't 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 do heavy um, web web searching web surfing I, I should say unless you have a, another antivirus. Okay, be warned. Going back here, if you go on your on your name tag gamer tag something I don't know this little thing if you and you click change account picture I I don't know if you can open it up any other way but this is how I got to it so go with me you can change your account picture that's me I guess like a couple years back you can browse use your webcam I, I don't know what browse does I'm not gonna open that up though you can customize your uh, start screen which is cool you can there's these little patterns over here or blank screen over there uh, colors which are pretty bland they're they're depressing colors like I like red and that's a really depressing red so I might change that to blue or something you can uh, customize your lock screen which again going back to um, they're trying to I guess combine tablet phone and PC OS's together which is kind of cool but a PC does not need a lock screen. Come on, guys. I mean, you, you please change that, or at least make it an option, because I, I don't like that. You can go to users, which I'm not going to, because that'll show my email notifications. You can search, share all this other good stuff right here. These are your PC settings. It does go into more full depth. Actually, you can change a lot of things through this. This just this little window right here, which is I like. I I like that of uh, phones, tablets, pads, whatever you want to call them these days. 
I like that you can go into settings or any other settings that are called by other names and just change ev anything through that. And computers don't really have that, which I I'm I'm <laughs> stuttering. I'm happy for. Enough of the introduction. Now I bet you're wondering how do you navigate on this thing. Well, you can over here if you open up desktop or Spotify, whatever any any program that's run on Windows Seven, I guess. You you go over here on the bottom, drag it up. And you have all these little windows that are open, which is really awesome. And if you want to close them, you right-click, close. If you want to, hmm, you can't do it with this one, not this one either. Huh. Well, let's open up Spotify. Actually, that's going to take a while, isn't it? Okay, let's open up Chrome. YouTube, something, something, something. Okay, go back here. It, you go over here. Go over there. Where's Chromey, Chromey, Chromey? Actually, I don't know where it is. Okay, well, the point is you right click, and there's going to be like a little option that says swipe left or swipe right, or both. I think it's both. If you select that, it'll pretty much be true multitasking. Like, you, this little, the start screen will. Go to the right or left, depending on if you choose left or right. And the screen you want to open, or the, just the screen, I'm sorry, the, the little uh, icon over here that you select to uh, swipe left or swipe right will be on either the left or the right, and you can multitask. So let's say you're writing um, a paper. You open up Word, you swipe it to the left over here, you have it on the left, then you have like your little tiles or store on the right which is awesome I like that that's uh, that's true multitasking not little press the home menu go to the app and you know app switch no this is that's true multitasking and you can't really do that on a, an iPad or not on an iPad a tablet which is this, uh, this is the only reason I like stuttering again I'm sorry <laughs> that's the only reason I like computers. That's true multitasking. You can't really multitask on a touch screen device. That's how I feel. You can also get to your little taskbar settings in the start menu now. You go over here. Let's close that up. You go over here. There should be a little uh, search thingamajigger that pops up. If you press that, you can look through your whole start screen or whatever they're gonna call it if you do that again you'll go back or just click it I guess but that's what I wanted to show you right here you go over here then you go then you swipe up and your little this little bar pops up <laughs> search share star devices settings and I'm sorry if I'm uh, questioning myself on these little li uh, the lingo I don't know what these are called if they're gonna go with bar taskbar Bar bar, I don't know. I'm I'm just guessing. Um, yeah. So settings, you go over. Here, you press settings for the power notifications. I turn that on. It is not preset. If you want to turn that on, do that yourself, please. Uh, your language, your brightness, your sound, and your network. All all very very awesome. You have more settings up there and help. More PC settings up below also. I think that's really cool. Finally, if you want to mess around with the tiles, you can left click and hold to drag them. You can right click and get the little menu to come up and unpin, uninstall, make it smaller, turn the live tile on or off. If you turn it on, the live tile will be live. Alive. I don't that's that's a weird thing to say about the tiles. I don't know. But yeah, you'll get like little animations going. If you right click on the on an empty spot on your on your start screen and you, you go to all apps and let's say I want to get Windows Windows Media Center, you right click on that and you pin a start. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you loved it. 
uh, we will get better. And if you want to follow us, links will be down below. All right, peace out.